This right here is a site of the day winner at awards.com. Now that your eyes are fully bleeding, let's go ahead and check out some other site of the day award winning websites that get things wrong. So this is what we saw at the intro. Right here, obvious, way too much happening with the video background. You 100% want to avoid this type of thing, especially with how fast things are moving around. And there's also mixed media where there's actually images, words that are showing up on top of the actual website UI. You definitely want to avoid this as much as possible. Making this even worse is you can't even scroll down and get out of here. You have to literally click something just to get away from the situation. The next one is Clear Space by Omega. Now, this one, design-wise, is great. However, it is one of the worst UX offenders because it requires manual labor from your users. Seriously, you might get a finger cramp from having to scroll down. There's just way too much scrolling, and it's way too slow. Now, typically, a lot of these sites will use a scroll library, such as Lennis, and the fix is easy. You can just adjust the scroll slash dampening value so that things can happen more quickly. I've been sitting here doing this almost the entire time while going down this website. It takes way too much work. You 100% want to avoid something like this. This is a really cool website. 3JS, I could tell, is probably utilized here if we take a look at Wappalizer, but it is just absolutely killed by the amount of work it's required from the users. The same situation in our next example is right here from Cumulus. If I scroll down, that's like six, seven different scrolls for not even anything to change, really. And there's a lot of video-based scrubbing, which is okay, but I think there's just too much used in this context. And also, if you're going to have video-based scrub animations, it does make sense to have a locomotive scroll rather than it just stopping instantly right here. It makes it a much more smooth effect that, you know, you could definitely improve the overall value. Now, here's a net, another one. This is another video-based scr scrub animation. Now, just be careful when you look at this because, again, you might go blind or you might go into full-on seizure mode. Uh, I'm going to refresh just in case there's any loading animations. Okay, now check this out. You could tell this is a video background because of all the pixelation that's occurring. Now, if I start scrolling down, <laughs> what is happening? You can also see just how much uh, banding there is and how much video compression, and it's just a bad look initially, um, and especially this going in your face like this. It's like, oh, too much. The rest of the website is actually awesome. You scroll down, there's a lot of really cool interactions, but that intro, that hero section, like check this out. This is really freaking cool. That intro section just kind of kills the vibe instantly. So I wish the designer, look at this one, this is awesome. As we come down here, really cool things happening, scroll-based activations, animations, but that intro, it is a killer. Outside of that, here's another one. This is called Lion, Lion Baton or something like that. Now, if I scroll down, this is something I guarantee you, if you've been involved in UI UX design at all, you've probably seen this, especially on awards website. It's almost like if you have a portfolio and you're on awards.com, this is probably how you list your projects right here. This whole little overlaying of project thumbnail previews. And this one is particularly egregious because it's overlaying over important content that you can no longer see. I don't know why this is caught on like wildfire. This is definitely a trend and I'm sure it will go because in terms of the UX, especially with this implementation, I'm 100% not a fan of. Now this next one, I, I get it. It's for like a festival of some sort. So trying to be super unique. I mean, we got like, uh, <laughs> what is happening here? One thing that's frustrating. Okay, so we have the goat heads, right? So we can't see the cursor. If I try to like hit the X button on this little register ticket modal, look at this. It's like very difficult to do so. It, it, it even changes the scale of the goat head. <laughs> It's like, ay, 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 way too much happening. And then this, it's like, oh my God, I'm getting like flashbacks from like Doom in 1993 I used to play. And it's like, we got like severed goat heads. It's like, it's crazy. I'm all for creativity, but 
sometimes you can overdo it just a bit, even when you're trying to be crazy, right? And so I think this is a crowning example of just kind of overdoing things, way too much visual clutter. I think we could simplify things just a little bit more in this context. Now this next one has an intro that is just insanely long. Right now, I can't really do anything except for click on who we are. Finally, it tells me at the bottom, tap to start discovering, and now I can finally start discovering. And if I start to scroll down, again, there's no indication that there's a scroll even occurring or that I should be scrolling down. Um, and so it becomes kind of a very long-winded scroll fest as we've seen before. So the takeaway from this one, avoid long intros at all costs, even for creative projects like this. Now this next one, I mean, I'm super impressed with the level of detail and that we have with the illustrations. But look how janky the animations is. This isn't just from a poor frame rate from my screencasting software, and I do have a powerful computer. Watch when I start scrolling. I mean, it's just, it starts to get a little bit smoother, but the initial, like this is really freaking cool, by the way. And everything else is solid thereafter. But if you look at this intro, and I, I get in here, Oh my God, what's happening? Everything is way too slow when you have all this SVG based animation that's occurring here and all these illustrations. So could have easily simplified things. Kind of, as you can see, we scale out, it gets a little bit faster, but this is a, a good example of things that are being way overdone. Here's a portfolio right here. And this is just one of those examples. It's like where you're trying just to be too interesting for the sake of being interesting without really giving me much context at all as the presumably the person's name or their last name right here in the center. There's some text here which you cannot read pretty much at all. And I'm really not sure what I should be doing. Now, if I click on works, there's another issue. And yeah, the implementation here of 3JS uh, and these custom shaders is very cool. But this right here is a good example of really locking your users into becoming forced labor camp workers because again, scrolling. I have to sit here and scroll in order just to see each project instead of giving me the option of thumbnails or some type of interesting scrolling thumbnail gallery. If I want to see all the projects, I have to go literally 20 different times, a scroll 20 different times. Again, these are things that you want to avoid even for creative projects like we see with these award winners. There are certain UX practices that should still absolutely be minded. And of course, if you want to learn all those really cool UI UX practices, what better place than at designcourse.com. That's my interactive UI UX course where you're going to have over 16 hours worth of content and interactive challenges to learn UI UX better. So definitely take a look at that course. Take a look at the coupon in the top link of the description and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.